Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. In the coming decades, rising sea levels due to climate change could dramatically impact the east and west coasts of the United States. You might think another stretch of shore, the 10,000 miles of coastline along the five Great Lakes, is better protected from such effects. But as Ben Tracy reports from Marquette, Michigan, no place is truly untouched by our changing climate. Not going to beat Mother Nature. This is really an example of the force of the lake. Dennis Stakowitz has lived along Lake Superior for two decades. I mean, this kind of looks like it got bombed out. It does. It does. And even in this now long-term relationship, he says the lake still has all the power. He showed us this shattered stretch of road that used to be Lakeshore Boulevard. Lake erosion really got the best of it, but ultimately it failed because nature caught up with us. Stakowitz is planning director for the city of Marquette, home to about 20,000 people on Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The city had to spend nearly $3 million rebuilding the road 300 feet away from its increasingly unpredictable neighbor. We're watching the intensity of these storms just get worse and worse to the point that they're really becoming dangerous for our infrastructure and the health and welfare of the community. So you're seeing the extremes get more extreme. The extremes are getting way more extreme. The storms fueled by climate change are more frequent and intense. They are battering shorelines throughout the Great Lakes, turning roadways into rivers and forcing homes off their once lofty perches. If we keep going on the path we're on, we don't really know where these extremes are going to take us. Melissa Scanlon is director of the Center for Water Policy at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. She says Lake Michigan hit a record low water level in 2013 and then swung wildly to record highs in the past few years. So it's normal for the Great Lakes to rise and fall. How is that cycle changing? The highs are getting higher and the lows are getting lower. I'm most concerned about flooding and sewage contaminating the drinking water supply for millions of people. The city of Milwaukee sits on Lake Michigan and the local sewer district is now tearing out these concrete stormwater channels built in the 1960s that can no longer handle the intense rain events. They are restoring a more natural flow to try to slow down the water to keep it from flooding nearby homes and to keep sewage from pouring into Lake Michigan if the system gets overwhelmed. The city's infrastructures aren't really built to deal with these kind of rainfall extremes. And so we need to figure out how to manage this water and to adapt to the future. Of course, the Great Lakes do not lack for water. They hold 84% of North America's surface fresh water supply. Air temperatures in the region are predicted to increase by up to 11 degrees by the end of the century, making those notorious northern winters a bit more bearable. That's why places like Marquette, Michigan, are now seen by some as a climate change refuge. And they're finding us, and they're coming. You lead the way. Stephanie Jones sells real estate in Marquette, where the housing market is hot and they can't build new homes fast enough. But there are signs the locals would prefer tourists rather than transplants. Are folks here ready to have a lot of new neighbors? It depends on who you ask. A lot of people have that, I'm here and I want to be the last person, so can we just shut the door behind me feeling? Dennis Stakowitz never thought he'd see people moving here for the weather. No, <laughs> I have to be honest with that. After all, Marquette put up a sign proudly displaying its record snowfall of 22 feet. But given fires ravaging the western U.S. and hurricanes hitting the south, this small town might have a big future. Yeah, I didn't see it coming, but this is a, it's a pretty good place to, to weather the storm, for lack of a better term. For CBS Saturday Morning, Ben Tracy, Marquette, Michigan. As a former resident of northern <laughs> Michigan, not the Upper Peninsula, but it is beautiful up there. The weather extremes are incredible, very cold. Yes. But it is interesting to see that this, this bad thing in our world right now of climate change has that potential 
Yeah, but in it's fact, sort of, it's a very weird. And as somebody who grew up in Lake Erie, yeah, yeah. right. I mean, you, winters can be lake effect snow. Rough, name it, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's good that they're working to solve the problem. They acknowledge it, and they're working to change or hopefully flow with whatever changes are taking. Trying place. to address how do exactly. we exactly, yeah.